Now, a British toddler who was born deaf can now hear unaided after becoming the first person in the world to receive a new gene therapy treatment. Shortly before Opal Sandy's first birthday, she was given an infusion in her ear that replaced the faulty DNA with a working copy of the gene. Experts from Cambridge's Addenbrooke's Hospital say there's potential for this new treatment. A health reporter, Michelle Roberts, has more. Opal's turn. 18-month-old Opal is learning how fun making noise can be. Yeah! She's the first person to get a new type of gene therapy treatment for an inherited deafness she was born with. Her parents, Joe and James, say it was a really hard decision to make. It was really scary, but I think we'd been given a really unique opportunity with no real evidence that any harm or adverse effects was likely to come to her and I think a lot of parents with regardless of their difficulties their children face to be given an opportunity to potentially make obstacles easier for her to overcome was a risk definitely worth taking. Surgeons carried out Opal's procedure just before her first birthday. The infusion replaces the faulty DNA causing Opal's genetic condition. A modified harmless virus delivers a working copy of the OTOF gene that treats the sound sensing cells in the inner ear or cochlea. The new gene means they can carry the signals they should. Opal's operation went to plan. Gene therapy in her right ear and a cochlear implant in her left. Just a few weeks later, she could hear loud sounds. Absolutely mind-blowing. You were I was at work. at work at the time and you, you messaged me to say say what had gone on and I, I'm not sure I believed it at the start. I think Get I my phone said, out. said it was a, just a fluke. You know, she must have reacted to something else. I got home from work and was straight away. <laughs> Take the cochlear implant off, testing it out. Yeah, yeah bang quite, from yeah. the bottom of the stairs. Good, I'm shy. Now she can even hear whispers in her gene therapy ear. That was 24 weeks post-surgery and we heard the phrase near normal hearing. She was turning to really soft sounds. Yeah, and we, we, they played us the sounds that she was turning to and we were quite mind blown by how, how soft it was, how quiet it was. Like they're, they're sounds that I think in day-to-day -day life you might not even notice yourself sort of thing. Hiya, Ladybird. Opal's part of an international study and experts hope the treatment could work for other types of profound hearing loss too. This is a very specific gene for quite a rare type of hearing loss. So what I'm hoping is that we can start to use gene therapy in young children, restore hearing for a variety of different kinds of genetic hearing loss, and then uh, have a more one and done type approach where we actually restore the hearing. They don't have to have cochlear implants and other technologies that have to be replaced. Go on then, Diego. Oh. Big sister Nora has the same rare gene as Opal. For daddy. Good girl. Oh. Keys for daddy. More than half of hearing loss cases in children have genetic causes, so there's big potential for this new type of therapy. Michelle Roberts, BBC News.